Making YouTube videos and general content creation can be a pretty expensive and pricey business venture, especially if you are a newcomer. Investing in cameras, lighting, sound, even the equipment to edit the content on can get pretty pricey. And uh, if you're starting out, that's a big investment to make. And as someone who is starting on the platform that is relatively new, balancing that budget and understanding how much you're putting into your content versus how much you're getting out of it is an important thing to keep track of. Which is why I always try to recommend software solutions that are free or indeed affordable that pack an awful lot of functionality so you can get started on your content creation career and don't break the bank in the process. But what if I told you that I could offer you some software solutions that could help get you started on your YouTube content creation career for just a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars I guess as well if you want to you know be picky i guess i know i know i sound bad when i say that i sound like some sort of sleazy salesperson that's trying to get you into buying something that you don't really need but trust me i think you guys are going to really appreciate what i'm going to show you in this video If you are looking to make a career on social media or indeed make content on multiple platforms, I think it's a smart idea to start treating it like a business. And for the most part, managing a business is basically like managing money. You don't spend too much and you invest in the right places. So what can you do that will help save you money when it comes to making content? Or indeed, in some cases, what can you do that will prevent you from spending money that early on up until you're making enough revenue to upgrade should you choose. I have always been the advocate of recommending solutions and free options for people that are just starting out so they don't spend a lot of money up front. Most people will do the typical thing of spending money that they don't have on pretty hefty solutions when they aren't making any money doing the thing they want to do. So I wanted to put all of the things that I recommended on my stream and the solutions I've provided into one video to make it easier for you guys to make the right choice depending on the kind of content you're going to be making. And a quick disclaimer, we are not going to be going over the camera side or the sound side or the lighting side of YouTube equipment. It's just going to be primarily the software, video editing software, creating thumbnails, doing graphics for your YouTube and your Twitch channels. And on the subject of Twitch, I do want to remind everyone I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday over on Twitch. The link to my channel is in the description down below. So feel free to drop by and ask any questions you might have about this video or indeed content creation, video editing, and motion graphics design. Also, if you find the video helpful and it helps you save a little bit of cash, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. So let's start talking about how we can save you a little bit of money. The first affordable solution I'm going to be offering you guys is some video editing software. There are a fair few options out there when it comes to video editing software for both PC and Mac, but I want to give you guys my solution and my recommendation when it comes to short-term and long-term investments. Most people will jump and gravitate to the most available and the most common solution out there, and that is the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. Adobe makes decent software and it's been accepted into TV and film and it's been used by YouTubers for a fair bit of time now. But for starting editors with no money, I would say no, do not go with the Adobe Creative Cloud option. Look, I don't have a problem with Adobe software at all. Except for the fact it looks as though it's made in the 90s and it's riddled with the bugs, keeps on crashing and their business model is back to front. Other than that, it's 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 great software. For most people, it is a considerable amount of money to pay Adobe every single month for the tools that they need to make the content. And unless you're the student or indeed in education, then you're not going to see a benefit when it comes to how much you're paying and sustaining per month. Especially if you're not making money from the get-go. I myself cannot morally tell someone who is just starting out on YouTube to go and pay that kind of money per month, especially when I know there are free solutions or indeed more affordable solutions out there in the world. So you may ask, what kind of solutions are there? What can I do that's going to save me money and get me making that juicy YouTube revenue? Well, some random person on the internet, I'm glad you asked. The best and most affordable solution that is packed with functionality that I can recommend is DaVinci Resolve. For a whopping price tag of zero dollars, you can get video editing, motion graphics design software, color correction and sound editing all in one tightly packed application. There are a few limitations, however, with the free alternative to DaVinci Resolve. Some open effects plugins are disabled and you can't go above 4K Ultra HD, but for the most part, 
you can use it like any other video editing software out there. And for 90% of the YouTubers out there that are just starting out, I think this has got every single base covered to get you started on making videos. And when you start making YouTube videos and you're earning a little bit of money and you feel like you want to upgrade the software, you can do that for $299 US. You can upgrade the software and unlock all the features that I mentioned before that were previously locked in the free version. Or if you are making enough money and you want to go with Adobe and you can sustain the cost of the monthly subscriptions, then you can go down that route. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not. I promise. I won't judge. I won't. The idea of suggesting these solutions are for those that can't afford the high-end tools but want to make really good content. Resolve is a high-end tool that is very accessible and steeped in really good functionality that gets people in there and making content. And yes, there's going to be more DaVinci Resolve content on this channel. I love you guys. I see your comments. I'm working on it. Hold tight. Moving on, let's talk about the next available solution that is Affinity Designer. And actually the next two on my list are by the same company, but you know what? They each deserve their own spot, so uh, I'm gonna go, we're just gonna roll with it. Affinity Designer is an Adobe Illustrator alternative that I recommend constantly for making logos, Twitch graphics, overlays, panels, that kind of thing. Things that are relatable to you and me and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis on Twitch. And this one is the first piece of price software that we have on the list, and that is $50 US. $50 for, I think, a really good piece of software that is considerably underpriced and something that I think really rivals Adobe Illustrator as another great graphics design tool. It's a single purchase with no monthly fees. You buy it and you own it and they are constantly releasing really cool and exciting updates for the software. For example, the most recent version of Affinity Designer includes templates, which I am super excited for. It's going to make things really, really easy to make stuff for Twitch over and over and over again, make templates for the design stuff that I do. I've been asking for this feature for a long time. I'm glad it's here. I'm excited. And I would also argue the fact that Affinity Designer looks less daunting and scary than Adobe Illustrator. I mean, just take a look at the interface for crying out loud. This is Adobe Illustrator and this is Affinity Designer. Which one scares you the most? Which one makes you want to turn off your computer and go take a nap? Let me know in the comments. Next, Affinity Photo. I keep getting asked all the time, what is the difference between Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer? For one, Photo is also I hope you heard that bike going past. Why is it every time you want to film something, somebody wants to rev their engine and then drive past when you're recording? Come on now, it's only, it's nearly 2 a.m. Why are you up driving that fast? For one, they're both $50, and so that's your budget right there of $100 spent on the two applications. But Affinity Photo can be best described as a Photoshop alternative. And if you want to know the difference in a bit more detail, I do go in depth in my software video linked in the description down below. And if you are looking for a fantastic solution for YouTube thumbnails, Twitch emotes, uh, digital art, and a whole lot more, this may be the option for you. Again, single time fee, no monthly costs. Once you buy it, you own it, it's yours. Who can argue with that? Psst, guys, I would love to be sponsored by you. Just saying. I personally use both of these applications all the time when it comes to making things for my designs, for Twitch and for YouTube, as well as starting the process for when I do motion graphics, I make everything in these programs. Another really good thing to mention is both of these applications are available on both Mac and PC, and they are cross-platform, so if you make something on the Mac, you can open it on the PC. Also, to mention, if you have an iPad, both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo are available on the iPad, and you can use those on the iPad, like full, standard, applications and send documents to your Mac and to your PC if you want to work with all three platforms at once. So if you work on one or two or three or all of them at once then you have options you can thank me later. Also, as a bonus purchase, if you do have a bit more budget or you don't need one of the applications and you want to trade it for this one, if you are on a Mac and you want an alternative to After Effects, check out Apple Motion. That is also $50 on the Mac App Store. It's not as complicated as After Effects, but it really does boast a cleaner interface and has some really powerful text and particle tools inside of it. And I use it all the time when it comes to making stuff for my Twitch and inside of my YouTube videos. Apple Motion also pairs really really well with Final Cut Pro. So if you do edit on Final Cut Pro and you want something that works really well with it, Apple Motion is great. More information can be found in my software video, which is linked in the description or indeed in one of the cards up 
appear. Check that out as another solution. In fact, check out all the solutions I mentioned in this video. Links to all of them are in the description down below. And those aren't affiliate links, by the way. So if you do want to support what I do and the content that I make, then I am live every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday over on Twitch. The link to my channel is in the description down below. So feel free to drop by and ask any questions you might have about what I talked about in this video or indeed to, you know, just have a conversation and be friends. We can do that too. Or if you want to make friends on the Discord and hang out with other editors and content creators and designers, the link for that is also in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care. They're all healing up in here. Nice! <laughs> Killed him! <laughs> you got the finisher! I nice. did! <laughs>